Have you ever considered that the one commodity we all have in equal measure is time? Welcome to this exploration of Arnold Bennett's seminal work, How to Live on 24 Hours a Day. Chapter 1, The Daily Miracle, opens with an audacious claim. Bennett asserts that time is the most precious resource we possess. More valuable than material wealth, time is the one thing we cannot replenish. Yet, it's often the aspect of our lives we manage the least effectively. In the second chapter, The Desire to Exceed One's Program, Bennett argues that most people feel overwhelmed by their obligations. The problem isn't a lack of time, but rather a failure to utilize it effectively. By taking control of our time, we can not only meet our obligations but also pursue our passions. Chapter 3, Precautions Before Beginning, highlights the importance of planning. Bennett advises starting small and gradually expanding our efforts. He also warns against becoming discouraged by setbacks, reminding us that every new day brings another 24 hours to use as we see fit. In The Cause of the Trouble, the fourth chapter, Bennett identifies the root of our time management issues. He argues that we often waste time because we don't value it enough. By recognizing the true worth of our time, we can start to use it more wisely. Chapter 5, Tennis and the Immortal Soul, presents an interesting dichotomy. Bennett suggests that we need to balance our physical and spiritual needs to make the most of our time. Physical activities like tennis provide necessary relaxation, but we should also nourish our minds through intellectual pursuits. The sixth chapter, Remember Human Nature, reminds us that we are not machines. We need rest and relaxation to function at our best. Bennett advises us to respect our natural rhythms and to adjust our schedules accordingly. In the seventh chapter, Controlling the Mind, Bennett presents techniques for increasing our mental discipline. By mastering our thoughts, we can increase our productivity and make better use of our time. Nothing in life is humdrum, the eighth chapter, encourages us to find joy in our daily routines. Bennett believes that even mundane tasks can become enjoyable if we approach them with the right mindset. In the final chapter, Serious Reading, Bennett advocates for the importance of continual learning. He proposes that reading challenging literature can expand our minds and enrich our lives. In summary, How to Live on 24 Hours a Day offers a comprehensive guide to time management. Bennett prompts us to value our time, plan our activities, balance our physical and mental needs, and continuously seek personal growth. Through his wise counsel, we can learn to live each day to its fullest. Remember, time is the one resource we all have in common. How we use it makes all the difference. So consider Bennett's advice and see how much more you can achieve in just 24 hours.